Today I wanted to help parents and students learn how to study uh, more effectively. If you know that you have an upcoming test, it doesn't matter what subject it is, one of the best tools that you could use is to make flashcards. And nowadays, with the computer being available, you can make online flashcards at different websites like Anki or like Quizlet. Com. The importance of flashcards is that you can make the flashcards up of vocabulary. And for me, in science, vocabulary makes up 70 to 80 percent of the kinds of things that you'll find on a test. So if you can make uh, flashcards, whether it's for languages, whether it's for math class, whether it's history or for science, and you review them for five minutes a day, every day, until you have a test or a quiz in that subject, I think you would find that you would do much better in your performance when you're taking those exams. The art of doing flashcards, whether it's online or whether it's by hand in the car on the way to a soccer game or something like that, or during commercials, during TV, you only need about five minutes. But when you're doing them, you want to put them into a pile that you absolutely know without hesitation and the pile that you don't know. If you hesitate even for a moment, you don't know it well enough. It's your brain telling you, I don't know this 100%. If you don't know it 100%, put it in the I don't know pile. Once you're done, then you're going to take the I don't know pile, and those are the ones that you want to drill every day until you know them 100%. It's not like you have to go through all 50 or all 100 note cards at the same time every time. You just want to work with the ones that you're struggling with. And for those who are just starting using flashcards, don't try to go through the whole pile of 30, but chunk them. Chunk them down into groups of two to five, whichever you're more comfortable with and learn those two to five before you move on to the next set of two to five cards when you're learning them. And I have the students make those flashcards up just when they're learning that word for the first time. And the other important thing is, by going in prepared, you're less anxious and you're more relaxed about it. So these are just a couple tips that you could use to help you study and to improve your performance when you're taking tests or quizzes. The websites that I found most helpful, I'm going to put in the bottom bar for the doobly-doop. <laughs> Have fun studying!